Bury Me Alive by Oliver Tree is going to be played in standard tuning, and I'll show you two different ways of how to play it. Uh, one is without a capo, and one is with a capo. The way with a capo is slightly easier, uh, but you're not going to be able to avoid some form of a bar chord to play this song. Uh, also, it's worth noting that this song really isn't based around guitar at all, uh, but you can pull it off on an acoustic guitar, and this is how you would do it. So. The first chord is just three chords the entire song. The first chord without a capo is going to be an A major chord that you play as a bar chord. You're going to bar your first finger across the fifth fret and then put your ring finger down on the five string seventh fret, uh, pinky finger down on the four string seventh fret, and your second finger down on the three string sixth fret. And your bar, your first finger bar is grabbing the fifth fret of strings one and two as well. So. An A major, then you want to take this shape and just slide it down one fret to make it uh, a G sharp major, uh, G, G sharp dominant seven, I think is what it would become because we're going to lift our pinky finger up off the fretboard. So our first finger will be barring uh, the sixth string on the fourth fret. That bar will be grabbing the fourth string on the fourth fret, and then that bar is also grabbing the two and one strings on the fourth fret. Meanwhile, our ring finger uh, is grabbing the five string on the sixth fret, and our second finger is grabbing the three string on the five fret. So we've got an A major to a G sharp, and then C sharp. We're going to, uh, out of this G sharp seven, we will uh, just take that bar shape with our that, that is usually made with our second ring and pinky fingers and shift it down one set of strings. Our bar, our first finger bar will remain on the fourth, uh, fourth fret, but now we've got our ring finger on the fourth string sixth fret, pinky finger on the three string sixth fret, and second finger on the two string five fret. That's going to repeat. And as far as rhythm, you can get away with just just kind of a chunky 16th note. Down up, 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 down up. Just down up, down up, down up, down up with emphasis coming on the down beats. Or if you want to give it a slightly more reggae feel, I feel like there's a undercurrent of what guitar does exist feels like it's slightly reggae, like. And that would be a down, down up, down up, down, down up, down up with pauses where you're not playing. Down, pause, down, up, down, up, down, pause, down, up, down, up. All right, so that's kind of the intro. And then whenever we get into the next phase of the song, there's no discernible guitar at all, but what the bass is doing, the bass is going... something along those lines. So, what you can do is you can play that C sharp minor. Um, I'm going down, down, up, up, down, up, and then I'm moving just my first finger uh, to hit the sixth string four fret, and I'm really just letting that ring out. And that's, uh, you know, that's just the next movement. That's my next chord. And then I'm gonna move with my pinky finger to the five string seven fret and then I'm going to move my pinky finger to the five string six fret. Now this is an awkward movement to make, and really that's all that you want to come out of that last part is, so what you do with these fingers, I just leave them in the C sharp minor position because it's then easier for me to move right back with my pinky finger to the three string six fret and be right there for another C sharp minor. But if you want to rework that so that it's less of a contortion on your fingers, feel free. But that's the movement that you need to be able to uh, figure out how to make. All right, so let's say that you want to avoid these uh, bar chords. Capo on the fourth fret of the guitar, and we can get something that's slightly easier because it comes out of an A minor formation. So what was our C sharp minor? Actually, let's just go back all the way to the beginning. We still have to make a bar chord here that is going to be like a relative shape of an F. So you're, if we're, I'm going to speak now relative to this capo, like the capo is the nut. So you bar across the first fret, 
uh, which is really the fifth fret still, but bar across the first fret with your uh, ring finger on the five string three fret, pinky finger on the four string three fret, and your second finger on the three string uh, two fret with your first finger still barring the rest of that first fret. Uh, you would go from that chord to what would basically be like an E dominant seven shape. I'm just moving my ring and uh, first, my ring and second fingers down one set of strings, or down one fret, not set of strings. They're staying on the same. They're staying on the same strings, but I'm moving them down one fret. So I open six strings, second finger on the five string, uh, ring finger on the five string two fret, open four strings, second finger on the three string one fret, open two, open one strings. It's like an E seven, E dominant seven. So. And then the next chord would be an A minor, standard A minor chord. So we've got two standard chord positions, you know, an F bar chord, but then E7, A minor. That A minor would be an open five string, second finger on the four string two fret, ring finger on the three string two fret, first finger on the two string one fret, open one string, strung from the open five string down, and then that repeat, would repeat. get to the second part. Uh, you would come out of the A minor shape and then you just hit the open sixth string and kind of mute that sixth string. Don't let it ring out forever. But And then you hit that walk down from the five string three fret to five string two fret. And if you're just gonna, I would try to just stay in the A minor formation and go pinky finger, second finger, five string three fret, five string two fret, back into the A minor. And then you go back to the original. You can hear me just doing random hammer-ons and pull-offs there with my first finger in that A minor shape. Uh, opening and closing the second string from either second string one fret or second string open. And that, those are the chords. So those are the chords and the movements to, mer to Bury Me Alive uh, by Oliver Tree. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.